All right, take child's pose. <laughs> take your knees wide, reach your arms out in front of you. Drop your hips back towards your heels. And land, land. Celebrate the victory of getting yourself to your yoga mat tonight. And feel the parts of your body that are resting on the earth. And can you allow yourself in this moment to feel supported, to feel held, and to come back to the awareness of this present moment and know that all is well when you're right here, right here. And begin to cultivate deep, free ujjayi breath. Softly close your lips, draw your breath deep into the container of your body. So much so that you literally feel your skin, muscles, maybe even the bones of your ribs expand on your in-breath. And as you breathe out, can you completely let go and surrender into the earth, onto your yoga mat, at right, this sacred space that maybe has one practice on it or a thousand. And just know that you're exactly where you need to be. And then fan out your fingers. Give your toes a little wiggle. And then tuck them under and rise into downward facing dog. And as you come into your down dog, pedal your feet, pressing into the earth, bend your knees, and begin to move in an intuitive way. Right, this is your first moment of letting go of what it all looks like or getting it right. Just allowing yourself to move freely in your body. Right, start to build a trust with yourself and learn what feels good, right, what's needed in this moment, and maybe what doesn't feel so good and isn't needed, and you take that out. And then as you come to stillness in your dog, root your hands and feet into your mat. And as you press into the floor, pull in and up into your core. Feel your solid center. And breathe in a celebration of that. Of you on your mat. And whatever comes in your journey tonight. Know that it's exactly what's needed for you right now. Take a deep breath in. And a big old sigh out. <sighs> Take a full inhale. And as you breathe out, walk your feet up to your hands, take ragdoll, and give yourself space so you can go hip width, maybe you even go wider. Hinge at the crease of your hips. Let your spine hang free. Gently grab your elbows and allow yourself to sway side to side to already be willing to color outside the lines <laughs> with an intention of coming back to center and letting go. And just drop your head, give it a few shakes, yes and no. Practicing coming into being, letting go of all the thinking and doing, and continuing to bring that ujjayi breath deep, deep into your body, into your bones. And then release your hands, take them to your low back, interlace your fingers, make a fist, Come forward into the balls of your feet and reach your fist up and maybe even over your head as you straighten your arms. Now listen into your body. Where do you feel sensation? Could be the backs of your legs. Might be at your shoulders. Take your breath there, deep and free, with an intention of clearing out new space. And then release hands to the earth Toe heel your feet together, bring your big toes to touch. Take your hands to the crease of your hips. Press all four corners of your feet into the floor. And from your core with a straight spine, rise up to Tadasana. Reach all the way up, extend. Right in this expanded form of mountain pose. Root your feet into earth. Pull your belly into your core. And then reach up through your spine, the crown of your head, the tips of your fingers and take a huge breath in, expand. On your exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. And we'll start with a C of three ohms. Take a deep breath in. Oh.
Open your eyes, reach up, look up, mountain pose. And then fold, Uttanasana, and gaze back between your shins. Inhale, lift halfway, look out over your mat. Keep looking out front, plant your palms and step to plank. Keep looking at your point. So conscious of what you're seeing, really see what you see. See the color of it, the texture of it. Let it in and start to come out from that space between your ears and into naked reality, like what's right here in front of you. So simple, right? For most of you, yoga mat, towel, floor. Then press that floor, pull your belly in and up, and on your next inhale, come forward. Keep looking at your point, lower to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to up dog and lift your gaze, downward facing dog. Let your gaze now rest between your feet and spread out all 10 of your toes. So see your feet come alive and wake up. And you're allowing your awareness to rest on simple, right? Feet, towel, mat, and then you're listening on the sound of your breath. And know that all is well, right? What's not good about that? <laughs> you want a yoga mat, right? There's nothing else here. No gremlins in the room coming to get you. It's just you and your feet and your hands and the towel and your breath. Take a deep breath in and take a sigh of relief. Ha! <sighs> Inhale, fill up your lungs. As you breathe out, look forward, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow down, gaze back between your shins. Rise to mountain pose and look up. And then fold, Uttanasana, into your bones. Look back and see them. Inhale, halfway lift. Look out in front of your mat and walk or hop to Chaturanga. Inhale to up dog and lift your gaze. Downward facing dog. Soft drishti between your toes. Hey, where your awareness goes, all of your energy flows. So if you're not here, if you're literally not in this room, if you're still out there in fantasy land, there's no energy, no energy in your pose, in your body. Yeah, be right here, land here, press the earth, pull into your core. And from that solid foundation, on your next exhale, look forward and walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow down, rise and shine, Tadasana, and fold, Uttanasana, gaze between your shin, lift halfway, look out over your mat, Chaturanga Dandasana, walk, hop, float, and then big inhale to up dog, hold at the top, exhale, downward facing dog. Right, simple truth, look out where the air is clear. Notice any pieces, parts of your body where your breath is getting stuck, where you're holding on. Can you soften, soften, use your breath to smooth rumpled feathers. And then take a deep, deep inhale. As you exhale, look forward, see where you're going, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, bow down, breathe out. Rise up, Tadasana, lift your gaze. Full inhale, hold at the top, and bow down with relief and release, let go. Lift halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana, from your core. Up dog, huge inhale, down dog, home base. Use the earth beneath you as support. Right? The more you root with the knuckles of your fingers and the bones of your feet, the stronger your core, right? The stronger you are. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, look forward. Walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow down. Sit into chair pose, Utkatasana. And take your drishti, your awareness, straight ahead with purpose. And on purpose, sit down. Like, what are you committed to? Let one word bubble up. Maybe it's what brought you to your mat tonight, consciously or unconsciously. Like maybe you didn't even know till now why you're here, 
I mean, you still don't know, but what would you take a seat for right here, right now? I'll give you something. Take a seat for yourself. <laughs> take a deep breath in. Bow down, let go. Ha. Ah. Lift halfway, get long in your spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow like water. Up dog, lift your gaze. Down dog, rest your gaze. Rest between your feet. All right, step your right foot forward to warrior one. Spin your back foot flat and rise up. Drishti straight ahead. Anchor through the four corners of your feet. Lift your 10 toes so you know you're in those corners. Right? What are the corners? Big toe mounds, little toe mounds, inner and outer edge of both heels. Take your low belly in and up and from your core, lift your gaze, lift your heart, go up and back. Big breath in, chaturanga flow, to earth you go. Up dog, huge inhale. Down dog, press back, step your left foot forward. Left foot, warrior one. Rise. Allow yourself a moment to settle. And in this moment, where are you? <laughs> now, it may seem really intuitive, like, oh, no, I'm on my mat. Here I am. But are you really here? <laughs> Press your feet into earth. Feel where your feet connect to the mat. And pull your belly in and up. Feel some sensation there in your core. Maybe even a little fire, some heat. And go up and back. Take a huge breath in. And then Chaturanga Dandasana through your vinyasa like water, flow, up dog to down dog, and rest your gaze at your feet. All right, it's like coming home at the end of a long day, just resting your gaze right there at your toes, knowing all is well. Yeah, soften your face. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, look forward, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, bow down. Chair pose, one big inhale. And then Uttanasana, forward fold, deep exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, flow. Up dog, down dog, and right foot steps forward, warrior one. One big deep breath in. Anchor your gaze, Chaturanga Dandasana, go. Look out in front of your mat. Up dog, down dog. Left side, warrior one, drishti straight ahead, chaturanga dandasana, go. Look out in front of your mat, up dog, down dog. So when your head's dropped, it's heavy, it's heavy. Your body's heavy, the pose is heavy, your world gets heavy. <laughs> Just ask yourself in this moment, like, what do you need right now? What is there to put in? Maybe what is there to take out? Take a big inhale. As you breathe out, look forward. Walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow down. Utkatasana. Take a deep seat for what you're committed to. And then forward fold. Let go. Lift halfway. Looking out over your mat. Chaturanga Dandasana. Right? Moving on purpose. Up dog. Down dog, right foot steps with awareness, rise. Chaturanga, flow. Up dog, to down dog. This time left foot steps, warrior one. Come on up. And chaturanga, back to earth. Right, with awareness, up dog, down dog. I just coming out of the autopilot, coming out of like the, well, I always do it this way, like those well-worn grooves. Yeah, can you start to bring a curiosity, like a newness, a freshness to this moment? And we'll do one more sun B, like you've never done one before. <laughs> Deep breath in. As you breathe out, look forward, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, bow down. Chair pose, and forward fold, halfway lift, chaturanga, with a sense of exploration, up dog, down dog, right foot, warrior one, maybe a bigger step this time, and chaturanga on your out breath, go, up dog, 
down dog. Left side, warrior one, rise. And chaturanga, go down to the earth. Use it as a tool. Up dog, down dog. All right, deep flowing ujjayi breath. And your gaze at those gorgeous feet. Spread out your toes, wake them up. Recruit them <laughs> to help you in your practice. <laughs> Good, and then inhale your right leg to the sky. Squeeze the mat with both hands. Pull into your core. Bend your right knee and open up. Now flex your upper foot. Toes flare out, right? Your little helpers up there in space. And then go ahead and flip your dog over. Bring both feet, feet parallel. Use the floor, press down, hug in to go up and back. And where is your gaze? So notice, is it darting all around? Are you like checked out? Are you seeing like a whole nother landscape? Or are you right here? <laughs> it's not good or bad, but just notice. And then inhale up and come over to plank. Bring your feet together for side plank, heels to the right. Right arm presses into earth and you lift your left arm to the sky. Now activate both of your hands and both of your feet. So if you feel the skin on the soles of your feet stretch, because they're flexing towards your face, and your top hand, left hand stretches. Good, lift your top leg and then wild thing, go for it. Left foot behind you. Oh, like a big yawn, a whole body yawn. A relief, a relief. And then inhale, reach straight up, flip over and flow. Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Take the rush out. All right? Make this a meditation in motion. Like every pose, even the transitions, you're deep in listening, curiousness, <laughs> curiosity. Okay, inhale your left leg to the sky. Grip the mat with your hands. Squeeze in. Bend your knee, open up. Flex your upper foot, yep. spread out that skin. And then from your core, flip and do it in slow-mo. <laughs> Press into earth with both feet. Yeah. Hug your shoulder blades around your spine. Gaze at one point, see it, see it, really see it. What color is it? What texture is it? And then reach up, big breath in, flip over to plank. Feet together for side plank. Stack them, right foot on top of left. Take the baby toe edges of your feet towards your face, hands active, pull into core. Float your top leg up, starting to shine big. Wild thing, go for it, right foot behind you. Reach back, peel open. Right, like the real you starting to shine through. Let yourself out, <laughs> out of the box. <laughs> Deep ujjayi breath. And then inhale, reach up, flip over and flow. A full chaturanga, don't cheat yourself here. <laughs> up dog. <laughs> I see you guys racing through that. Downward facing dog. Hands, feet, root, pull into your core. And then inhale your right leg up behind you. Take your knee to your nose, squeeze in. Now reach up high, three-legged dog. Take your right knee, touch your left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Now right knee to right elbow, maybe tricep. Look forward if you bend your arms like chaturanga, you might be able to take flights into the arm balance. Yeah, good Bruce, good Chris. There it is, Denali. All right, three-legged dog. <laughs> Step through to crescent lunge. Root into your feet. Both big toe mounds, core, rise, rise. Anchor your gaze. So when you get your gaze anchored, you get to enjoy the ride. I like be with what's moving through you. And then hands to heart, twist to the right. Left elbow outside your right knee. Recommit your feet to earth. Now what are you committed to? Maybe it's stability earthiness, equanimity. Now pull your low belly in and up and trusting yourself, trusting the stability in your legs and feet and core, open your arms. Yeah, go for it, good Michelle. And then quick, take a peek at your thumb, look up. Take a big breath in, 
Warrior two, open. Back foot flat. Right big toe, 12 o'clock. And then anchor your gaze straight ahead. What are you creating in this moment? Now see what you see. Do you know that like 89, 90% of the thoughts that you think every day are the same ones you thought yesterday and the day before? It's like we're trapped in Groundhog Day. <laughs> and your thoughts create your life and you wonder why you feel so stuck. <laughs> It'll create a new right here from what you see, what you think you see, what you see you think. <laughs> All right, extended side angle, go for it. Forearm to thigh or shin and reach that left arm up and over yeah so the inner edge of your left arm is right past your ear and take your low ribs up up start to rotate heart to the sky and lift your gaze right where your awareness is going your energy is flowing and you want to make it light and free one more deep breath in and then flow chaturanga from whatever variation you're in go for it up dog <laughs> Yeah, wild and free. I love it. Down dog. All right, anchor yourself now. Hands and feet. Ujjayi breath. And your drishti, your gaze at your feet. Super simple. Notice if you've brought anything else in. <laughs> Another interpretation <laughs> of what is. Come back to the naked truth, your naked feet. <laughs> Inhale your left leg to the sky. Take your knee to your lips. Give it a big kiss. And then reach it up high. Left knee, right elbow come across. Flex that left foot. Three-legged dog, reach up high. Now left knee forward to the left elbow or tricep. And the key to that arm balance is to not hesitate. You just gotta take the leap of faith. Beautiful, Hillary. Awesome, Bruce. All right, three-legged dog, bring it back. Step through, crescent lunge. Now take a moment to ground your feet. That's it, root into earth. And then lift your back heel. Good, Michelle. Press into my foot. Yeah. Take your low belly in and up. Now ride your breath. Land right here. Be on purpose. On purpose. Come out of the distraction. Deep breath in. Hands to heart with awareness. Twist to the left. Right elbow outside your left knee. Ground down through that left big toe mound. Right big toe mound. Press into floor, floor to core. And from core, open your wings wide. Right, trust your body. Trust all those practices under your belt, literally. <laughs> right there. Yeah, and see what you see. Look up, see your left thumb. And then warrior two, come up and around. You might even scoot your front foot forward to take a bolder, longer stance. And drishti, straight ahead. Looking down your left palm. I right, see what you see. What's being created in your experience. You are creating it. I'm not creating it. I'm just here guiding. You're the one creating. What do you want for yourself in this moment? Take a deep breath in. Extended side angle. Keeping those powerful earthy legs rooted into the earth. Reach your right arm and extend it. So from your right baby toe to the tip of your right little finger, there's a line of energy, like electricity. Yeah, tailbone down. And then left ribs up, gaze up. I always start to get those dark swampy thoughts about this time in the practice, right? This is the fiery part of the sequence. But just looking right up, right up to the ceiling to what's high. It's like instant lightness. Yeah, touch that. Reach for that. And then Chaturanga Dandasana flow. Clear out some space. Up dog. Down dog. Deep Ujjayi breaths. Yeah, I feel a sigh in there. Clear out your lungs. Breathe in deep. Let's all take a big one. <sighs> big inhale. As you breathe out, look forward. Walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Bow down. Chair pose. Take a deep seat. And then hands to heart. Prayer twist to the right. Prayer twist to the right. 
Lift your ten toes. Get into the mounds of your feet. Pull back. Tail down. Yeah, and use what you have, the tools that are right in front of you. So your left elbow is a good one. As you press it into the outer edge of your shin, can you pull your spine and lengthen? And on the exhale, use it to deepen the rotation of your spine. And you just rinse out anything that's between you and full self-expression, like you shining out, being you, through your skin right now. Open your wings, left fingers down, right fingers, reach high. High up to the sky. It's going to feel a lot better just like that. <laughs> yeah, deep breath in. All right, bow down, forward fold. Woo! There's always a treat. Feet out hip width, fingers to toes pose. So you'll grab your beautiful toes just like they were thumbs. Inhale and pull to a halfway lift. And as you bow down, press your thumbs into your fingers. Pull back against your toes. Do I call them thumbs? <laughs> I look and see your toes and I'm always thinking, oh, thumbs. <laughs> Tail to the sky. Head soft. Give it a shake. Yes and no. And then take three rounds of horse lips. And just spit all the concrete from your face. All that need to control. All the, oh, it didn't go the way I wanted it to. All the frustration, the traffic, the irritation. Right? Let it out. It's not here right now. Now look and see your feet. It's just feet and mat and breath and sweat. <laughs> All right, release your toes. Feet back together to touch. Chair pose. Take a seat, a deep one. Take your hands to your heart. Twist to the left. And as you go, use your right elbow to pull, lengthen to your spine. And deepen. On your exhales, when your belly is empty, you can rotate into the twist and start to squeeze from your space anything unwanted, anything that keeps you playing small. And then open your wings and feel the opening across your chest. Take your upper spine towards your heart and shine out. Look up big and bright, your full expression. Good, Bruce. And then bow down, gorilla pose. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Squat, take your toes to your wrists, right? Life is like this, fire, right? Feeling trapped in the heat of it all, and the next thing you know, whoo, a wave comes along to sweep it all away, and there's a release. So make the most of it while you're here. You could even give a little shimmy to your shoulders, your upper back, your neck. Good, Michelle. Give some love to your hands with your toes. Hey, look, you're connected, like you connected to you deeply. Tune in. And then take your hands from under your feet. Bring your feet together to touch and take crow. Take crow. So your pads of your fingers will squeeze them at. Your kneecaps come to the backs of your arms. And you take your drishti out over your mat. That's the secret. Look out above and past your edge to fly high. Yeah, belly in and up. For three, two, and then kick up and back, chaturanga dandasana, and flow. Up dog, down dog, ha. Walk your feet halfway up your mat. Leapfrogs. So feet, inner edges glued together, knees wide. Look in front of your thumbs and from your core, go for it. You'll hop for one minute. <laughs> one minute. Look forward. So if you're seeing feet, you're making it heavy. <laughs> and the it is you. <laughs> Look forward to become weightless. That's it. Forward. Some of you, I see you. You're looking at your feet. So know that your feet are touching by feeling them touching. Yeah? And see the top of your mat, your thumbs. All right, wherever you are, 10 more. Here we go. 10. Rise to the occasion. Nine. Good, Denali. Good, Chris. Seven. Six. Five. Awesome, Michelle. Four. Three, two, 
One. All right, child's pose. Woo. And you just let, yeah, like feel it as a victory for you. Like all the I can't or if I were by myself, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> you know, like let that just pass through. I feel the power in getting out of your comfort zone, being willing. Lips soft, closed, deep, deep, expansive breath in. Full, complete, letting go breath out. Internal drishti now. Just seeing what you see inside of you. Oh no, you're either one big huge reaction to life or you're a conscious creation. It's your choice. It's your choice. <laughs> All right, downward facing dog. Are you creating or reacting? Downward dog you go. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, look forward, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, bow down. Utkatasana, chair pose, right into eagle on the right side. So right arm under, right leg up and over, and you root into your left foot. And notice I didn't say toes. So foot, your toes are soft and free. And your drishti is anchored. See what you see. Purposeful gaze. Belly hugging in and up. And then release. Do it on the left side. A meditation in motion. Left arm under. Left leg up and over. Take your seat. Take your seat. And ultimately, yoga is about taking your seat as yourself. Not some other seat someone gave you or the chair everyone tells you to sit in, your seat. <laughs> and release, reach up, standing leg raise. So bend your right knee, bring it up. You can start with hands at hips. And you're gonna flex that front foot. Now take your right hand to your shin or grab your toe. And you could also straighten your leg. You're just recreating mountain pose right here. And then take your right hip out to the side wall. Yeah, stay hugged in from skin to muscle to the bones of your spine. Extend your left arm out. Slowly take your gaze to your thumb. See your thumb. Give it a wiggle. See it, seeing you see it. Come back to center, reach both arms up and extend that right leg out. Flex your foot, big toe straight up to the ceiling. Hug in. Notice if you're leaning away. Be willing to come into the fire. The way out is through. And then airplane pose, right leg back, wings wide. Rotate your inner thigh to the sky. Good, Chris. Point your right toe straight down. Yeah, flex your foot, feel that. Go for stability. Then drishti out and in front of your mat. So you're rising high and you're flying towards something. Yeah, that you're creating for you and you're in action towards it. Deep ujjayi, hands to heart center, half moon. So left hand to the earth, or if you have a block, use it. Open your pelvis, flex your right foot, and take your big toe towards your nose. Now if your hand is on your block, try making a teepee with your fingers. Yeah, or even on the earth, good Hillary. Yeah, feel that lift on your left side. Beautiful, Bruce. And then look up as you lift your heart. And if chapasana is in your practice, you can bend your upper knee and capture your foot. Yeah, from your core, from the hug in, you expand out. Bigger and brighter. Release your variation. Bow down, forward fold. Shake your head, pedal out your feet. And then inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Rise up to Tadasana. Standing leg raise on the left. So hands to hips, left knee up. And from here, pause here. Like as stable as you are here is as stable as this pose is gonna get. <laughs> Grab your shit, pull in. Yeah, you can get more stability there, right? While you've got your hand on your leg bone. And if you're straightening your leg, go for it. Slowly open, left hip out. 
pulling into core. That's it, ribs in, belly in and up. Look towards your right thumb as you reach to the side. And deep ujjayi breath. And come back to center, reach your arms high, extend your left leg forward purposefully. Hug in, leg bones in, belly in, chest towards the fire. <laughs> Airplane pose along the midline of your body, extend, left leg back. Take your left big toe straight down, flex your back foot. You'll feel your leg bone roll into place. And your hips will naturally level off. And from the power of your core, from that hug in the spine, Good, Carla, you get to fly high, high, higher than before. Deep ujjayi, soothing, cleansing, wind. <laughs> and then hands to heart with awareness, half moon pose. Keeping your right big toe pointed straight ahead. Hands to block, hands to mat, open your hips. And as you flex your back foot, pull your left leg bone right into its socket. <laughs> if you're taking chapasana, go for it. Bend your knee. Grab the outer edge of your foot. Tailbone in, heart up, gaze up. Look up to what's high. Let your energy flow. From the hug in, radiate out, shine. Beautiful fingers. <laughs> Chapasana's release, everyone bow. Take a moment to shake your head. Have a little wiggle tantrum on your mat. Go for it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and then halfway lift. Bow down. Rise up to Tadasana. And then dancer's pose. Right elbow to your hip crease. Bend your right knee. This time grab the inside of your foot. Yeah, if you have a strap, go for it. Use the strap. If you don't have a strap, you're gonna hug in by your own power. <laughs> and then drishti straight ahead as you kick into your foot or the strap. Pull your upper spine towards your chest and breathe deep, deep. With your gaze straight ahead. Feel the power of the hug in to expand towards your full expression. Right, you choose in this moment to create or to react. Final breath, release, come in on the other side, good work. So bend your left elbow, bring it to your hip, or you're strapping your strap around your ankle. Get ready, set, and we'll all go into it together. So we can get ready, set, go. And go slow, like breath by breath, just a little deeper, more stability each cycle of breath. Drishti, locked and loaded. <laughs> the more you pull in, the more you trust your center, the bigger you get to be, the more your heart opens. I didn't notice you're leading with your heart. That's powerful. Start to move to your full expression and then release. Yeah, good work. All right, Tadasana, drop your strap if you had one. Reach up, extend, lengthen through your spine. Draw your hands down to your heart for tree pose. Root into the earth with your left foot. Bring your right foot to your calf or your thigh. And then hands at heart. Hands and feet are active, so you can pull right into the line of your spine. And wait for the stillness here. If you're still waiting and it's not coming, create it. <laughs> and then interlace your fingers, look up, reach up, slow with awareness. Go up, go back. From your foundation, from your roots, rise, rise. Find your edge, look for what's possible up there. You'll never know unless you take a peek. <laughs> and then slowly come down, right foot to earth. Ground into the four corners of that foot as you bring your left foot to your calf or thigh, hands at heart. Now root down. Both feet press. 
from your core, reach up with your arms, and then bend your elbows, create cactus arms. Take your spine towards your chest. Lift your gaze, go up and back, up and back. Be willing to take a risk. Right? What was your word? What was your purpose for being on your mat? Are you willing to take a risk for that? And then hands together above your head, both feet to the earth. Bow, forward fold. And then lift halfway. And chaturanga, go, flow. <laughs> Up dog, big full breath in. Down dog, deep breath out. Step your right foot forward to warrior one and rise. Rise to the occasion. The moment is now. This is all we have is this moment. <laughs> I open into warrior two. Big, bold, expressive. An expression of what's in you. And then straighten your front leg for trikonasana triangle. Reach out. And as you windmill down, take your right hand to your block if you have one. Yeah. Or the earth. And you can make that little teepee with your fingers. Yeah. Choose the setting of your block or where to put your hand so that you have space and length from your right hip crease right up into your armpit. Now as you root into your feet, hug your shins in, thighs in, core in, go up and back, spine to your heart. Yeah, look, create something new here. Not the same old, same old triangle. <laughs> and then from your feet, come to center and from your core, rise up and we'll take the wide-legged straddle, prasarita. Right foot in, feet parallel, hands to your hips. Take your arm bones back, take your gaze up. Big inhale, hinge at your hips, bow down. Bow down. Take your fingertips in front of you so you can roll your weight into the balls of your feet and pull your upper spine into your back, like back in to you. <laughs> Good, now you can walk your hands you know, back towards your feet, but keep the weight forward and press into the earth with your inner ankles, inner big toe mounds, and just let your head go and give yourself, your awareness, a soft place to rest. Not just looking at one thing and seeing what you see. And bring your hands to your hips, from your feet, the floor, your core, rise with a straight spine. Turn to face the front pyramid pose. Step your back foot in. Reach your arms up high. Hinging at your hips. Fold over the crease of your front leg and bow into your shin. Drop your head. Let that heavy, all the heaviness go. Heavy is not the natural state that you came into this world. It's baggage you've accumulated along the way. So lift halfway, we're gonna rinse some of that stuff out. Twisting triangle, left hand to earth. Take your right hand to your sacrum. Yeah, feel for a shelf back there. Yeah, like a flat shelf. Good, now take your right thumb, put it in your armpit. Make a wing, a chicken wing. Yeah, and press your feet into the earth, hug into center line and then twist with the chicken wing. Now reach straight up with your hand. That'll be your full expression of your twist right there. Now press in and on your inhale, lengthen like you're going to pull your spine right out of your hips. <laughs> and on the exhale, twist. And then release. Chaturanga Dandasana. Be curious. What does your body feel like on that right side now? Up dog. Down dog. Step your left foot forward. Let's give some attention to this side. Rise. Warrior one. Yeah, and open into warrior two. Might go longer in your stance, big toe to 12 o'clock. Now allow yourself to settle here, here in this pose, in this moment. Now fully bring your warrior two. Now create triangle. Straighten your front leg. Reach forward as you look forward, and then bring your left hand down to your block or your mat, right outside that left foot. Now ground into the four corners of your feet. Yeah, pull your shins in, thighs in from that beautiful, strong core. Go up and back. Lift your gaze. See what you see. 
what you're looking at. <laughs> Good. Bring your body to center. Use your feet to press into the floor and from your core rise. Take your left toes in and we'll take prasarita with interlaced hands. So at your low back, bend your elbows, open up your collarbones, then straighten your arms, lift up, gaze and heart to the ceiling, hinge at your hips, bow, drop your head. Let those arms reach up and over you. Soften your neck, just let it dangle. Yeah, and just let your eyes rest on one spot. Put your awareness on what makes you feel good. Take it off anything that brings struggle. Right? This is a letting go kind of pose, a rejuvenating, healing pose. Take your fist to your sacrum. Press your feet into the floor. Use your core to rise up. Keep the bind. Turn to face the front wall. Step your back foot in, and you'll take pyramid with your bind. So take a deep breath in. Lift from your heart. As you hinge at your hips, you're leading from heart center. Your head is the last thing to drop as your arms come up and over. And then take your gaze back between your feet towards the back of your mat. Let your whole spine release and open. Let the you in there, in between those ears, release and open <laughs> to this moment. And then release your bind, twisting triangle. Right hand to the earth. Take your left hand, place it, flat palm to your sacrum. Yeah, find the shelf, make the shelf. Okay, now left thumb to your armpit, make a chicken wing. Press your feet into the earth, keep your hips as they are and start to twist, twist, twist. All right, now reach your arms straight up. Spread out your fingers, feel the skin on your hand, stretch. And then with your eyeballs, more your eyeballs than your neck, look up. <laughs> yeah, so just that lower eyeball, that right eyeball, see if it can glimpse your thumb, the ceiling. Chaturanga flow like a release valve, this vinyasa. <laughs> Up dog, collarbones open, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. All right, going slow, we'll go together. We're gonna count this down. Five, four, three, two. Hover, hover. <laughs> All right, drop to the earth. Keep your chin at center. We're going right into locust pose. Interlace your hands at your back. Zip up your legs. Tuck your chin on your next inhale. Rise. Right? Like the powerful, strong being that you are. All those gorgeous, beautiful muscles hugging into bone. Right? Your spine coming back into your body. This is the medicine for the hunching, the rounding, the I can't, the I don't know. <laughs> hey, this is a power pose here. One more. Full breath in. And then release your bind, right cheek and ear to the mat. Whoo! <laughs> and you let all that fire that you generated just percolate through your body. And that's you healing you. You did this to you. <laughs> All right, chin to center, floor bow. Bend your knees, reach back. Grab the outsides of your feet. If you can get your ankles, grab those. Zip it up, thighs in, chin tucked. Deep breath in and on your exhale, rise. Yeah, pull into your spine. Now your gaze, your drishti is forward and down. And you create a fire with your ujjayi breath, like a rebellious fire. Heart on fire. <laughs> soul on fire, you a force to be reckoned with in this moment, and then release, left cheek and ear to the mat, hands down by your sides, deep, deep ujjayi, feel what it feels like to simply be free. 
Right? Have you heard that like story or joke? It's kind of a life's joke about how you're in the cage, but it's the door is like unlocked <laughs> from the inside. You just have to open it. You think that you're trapped in there, but the key is inside you. Just go to the door and open it. Step through. Bring your chin to center. Upward facing dog, palms to the mat by your ribs, pull, crawl, get there. <laughs> and downward facing dog, tuck your toes. And with your knees, slowly bend them till they touch the earth for camel pose, Ustrasana. All right, we're gonna go for a camel ride. Knees under your hips, palms to your low back. I love this pose. <laughs> 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 I love it. Arm bones back, tuck your chin. Oh, because I love, you know, I get scared of things too, right? And my biggest practice is to lead with my heart, let come out of my mouth whatever's going to come out. <laughs> ah, and it's bumpy and scary, just like camel can be. Sometimes it's hot. Sometimes you can't see where you're going, but you're leaning into it anyway. <laughs> and so practice to get comfortable with that. Right? In the comfort zone, it's stale, it's dead, <laughs> suffocating. Be willing to crack open. Come out into the weird place. <laughs> All right, slowly come up, cross your ankles, roll onto your back for bridge pose. Plant the soles of your feet fully on the earth, hip width apart. Palms can be at the mat. And you'll press into the earth with your big toe mounds, little toe mounds, heels, and lift your hips to the sky. Press your shoulder blades into the mat. Draw your spine right there between your shoulder blades towards your chest. You could even take a bind. And then press into the earth like you mean it, on purpose, like wanting the fire. Because you know it's making you stronger. And then slowly lower down. Deep breath in, big, huge breath out. <sighs> and then bridge or wheel, rise. And for wheel, you'll plant your hands outside your ears with your elbows in. And as you rise, press into the floor, right? Your friend, your support, this whole practice long, use it to lift up, to be bigger than you even ever imagined you could be. And make your breath big too, match it. <laughs> and then slowly come down. One cycle of breath and you're gonna go right back up again before your thoughts can get in the way. All those little niggling complainers, <laughs> liars. And you rise, rise. I never have to wait for permission to rise and shine. Give yourself permission. Right? You, there's none of us born without a miracle in our hearts. It's just not possible. All right, slowly come down. Take Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees wide. One hand to your heart, the power center of your body, <laughs> truly, and a, heart, a hand to your belly. Bask in the glow of your own presence. In your own magnificence. Can you feel honored to be with yourself right now? I'm honored to be with you. <laughs> and gently open your eyes. Reach your legs straight up to the sky, feet together. Bring your right leg down, hover it two inches off the mat. Now bring your left leg down to meet your right, and then right leg up. Slowly left leg up, right leg down, feet flexed, <laughs> and then left leg down, right leg up, left leg up. All right, with both legs and feet glued together, Lower your legs down 30 degrees. 
and flex those feet. Yeah, beautiful toes, Denali. All right, come down 60 degrees. Pull in from your heels to your belly button. Can you embrace the fire? <laughs> Two inches off the mat. Two deep, honest, full ujjayi breaths. And then slow, we're gonna count and rise for five, four, three, two, one. All right, turn your toes out, duck feet, heels together. It's only hard in a struggle if you say it is. <laughs> All right, come down, 30 degrees. How about we call it fun? <laughs> yeah, now come down 60, so fun. <laughs> Abs are fun, you love it. It's your favorite part of the class. And then down two inches, wiggle your toes, take a peek, make it fun. <laughs> and then slow, rise up, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bend your knees, bicycle sit-ups. Interlace your fingers, your hands behind your skull. Right leg long. Flex your feet, take your right elbow to your left knee. And then pause at center, both knees bent. Left elbow, right knee. Pause in the center. Now go to the left. Pause in the center. Go to the right. Pause in the center. All right, seven more. Elbow to knee, not so much knee to elbow. Pausing at center, that's it. Six, five. Taking the rush out, <laughs> four. Each side, three, two, knee to elbow, last one, shoulder blades up off the mat, and then double time, go for it, ten, the switching sides, nine, eight, yeah, pushing your feet out like pedals, six, five, awesome, Chris, four, three, two, one, all right, pencil, arms overhead, legs long, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle like jello. You do that every day, there won't be much jello left. <laughs> hey, hug your knees into your chest, rock and roll, up and back, up and back along your spine. Ah, extra points if things crack <laughs> in a good way. And come up to boat navasana. Hands to the backs of your thighs. Pull your heart high. Flex your feet. Recruit those toes as helpers. <laughs> All right, now cactus your arms. Lift up out of your low back. From your core, bring your hands around. Lift them up with your gaze like you're lifting up all your troubles, all your worries, all your concerns on a big silver platter. You're going to take a big breath in and with an open mouth, <sighs> push them away. All right, full boat, full extension. Start to press up and out, up and out. Straighten those legs. All right, cross your ankles, roll forward, Chaturanga Dandasana. <laughs> now be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Don't like boat, get Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Take your right leg to the sky. Right knee to right wrist, half pigeon pose. Tuck your left toes under. Reach and stretch them to the back edge of your mat. Walk your hands beside your hips and rise up. Cactus your arms. Lift your gaze. Come up out of the plop, out of the slop, up to what's high. Wait for it. <laughs> right now, come down. Surrender. And as you walk your hands forward, extend them way out in front of you. Yeah, lengthen that spine. Deep, open, nourishing, ujjayi breath. Feel the earth beneath you holding you. Know that you so belong exactly right here in this moment. And everything that brought you to it. Mm -hmm. Now is your time to bring deep self-acceptance to all that you are. Even the struggles, especially the struggles. That's what makes you powerful. Mm -hmm. 
and embrace what you're not. Maybe there's some things you're really grateful not to be. <laughs> or just not yet. And let that be okay too. Okay, you have a whole lifetime in front of you to let the adventure unfold. You know, I've gone through some, I mean, every human emotion in the book, and rocky times, and been a terrible person. You know, I'm grateful for it all, because I can tell you, and I can say it honestly, like, I've been there. Mm -hmm. I know what it feels like. I love you. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. Walk your hands slowly back to the mat. Tuck your toes under, work your way gently to down dog. You can pedal your feet into the earth, you can lift that right leg, shake it, bend it, do what you do. Then bring it down and lift your left leg to the ceiling. Take your left knee to your left wrist. Gently set up, tuck those back toes, reach them back, back, back. And then walk your hands to your hips and rise. Cactus arms, lift your gaze, your drishti up, like a giving up. And then surrender down. Right? And this is where the ego and all that compulsion, the temptation to prove anything, like oh, prove it all, look good, be all that, it bows. <laughs> and the magnificence of you rises. Rises. Right, the you that's been there waiting, watching, gently guiding all along. Nobody can take that away from you. Now, even in your moments of your deepest shame and grief, no one can take you away from you. And I know I'm about to reach out and do something scary, like just really be vulnerable, put myself out there. I remind myself of that all the time. Doesn't matter what anyone says about me, if I don't want to let it in, it doesn't come in. No one can take me from me. And sometimes the most amazing acts of courage and beauty and creativity are the ones where you look like a fool. <laughs> you know, I had an editor when I was in the news business who was, um, like I love him to death, a great mentor of mine. He used to say, if there aren't people who, um, I don't know if hate is too strong a word, but that there aren't people who don't like you, <laughs> you're not being disruptive enough. <laughs> so let the haters hate. You just keep on doing, being. If your aim is true, if your aim is true, the forces of good will be with you. Slowly walk your hands back to the mat. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Do what you need to do to get rinsed and complete on this side. And then bend your knees down to the earth. Roll onto one hip. Bring your legs right in front of you for a seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. And flex your feet. It's okay if your knees want to bend. Let them do what they do. <laughs> Reach up like Tadasana arms, lengthen through your spine, take a deep breath in, and then hinge at your hips and come forward. Yeah, and just ask yourself in this moment, like, what's needed? What do I need to put in? What do I need to let go of and take out? And then take the baby toe edges of your feet towards your face. And breathe your deepest ujjayi breath yet. From the backs of your heels up to your pelvis. 
And then draw it up your spine, between your shoulders, to your neck and your head. Now creating new space. And then slowly rise up. Roll onto your back. Take Viparita Karani. You could put a block under your sacrum, right? Also known as legs up the wall. Shoulder stand or classical headstand. So your choice. And we'll be here about 10 breaths. So pick one that you know, is challenging, but where you can be still and be stable in it. And if you're in Deep breathe to Karani, your shoulders stand. Take a peek at your toes, spread them out. Give them a wiggle for a final time. Thank them. <laughs> and what would you be without those toes? <laughs> then life would be a struggle. Life is not a struggle right now. <laughs> you have all 10 of your toes. <laughs> be grateful. <laughs> And if you're in shoulder stand, you can slowly move to plow. Halasana. Reach those lovely toes towards the earth behind you. And then plows. Come to deaf man's pose. Bend your knees over your ears. And if you've been in Viparita Karani, you can slowly remove your block. And then you will all roll down your spine slowly. Let your knees play wide. Take hold of your feet and take a happy bug. And roll that bug side to side. Get all those little nubs on the back of your pelvis. If you want a little extra final hips, just press down. Ankles towards your knees. And then hug your knees into your chest. Release your feet for supine twist. So squeeze in. Extend your left leg long. And with that right knee hugged up towards your chest, take it slowly across your body. I love this pose. Savor this pose. Savor all that you've created in your practice. The softness in your spine. And come back to center. Hug both knees in. This time keep your left knee in, right leg long, and twist. Rinsing and letting out any final things you need to clean from your space. And then come back to center. Hug your knees in a final time. Chin up to your knees. Give each knee a big kiss. And then Shavasana. You made it. Let your feet splay wide, turn your palms up, close your eyes. Amen. 
Bring a wiggle to your fingers and toes. Hug your knees gently into your chest. Take a slow roll over to your right side. You can use your right arm as a pillow. And then staying behind closed eyes. Slowly, softly, with awareness, press up to a comfortable seat wherever you are on your mat. And then sit up straight and tall, bring your hands to your heart, and we'll close with a final cleansing breath and one huge ohm. So take a deep breath in, open mouth. <sighs> Breathe in. Oh. thumbs to your forehead center and we bow to the light in each other as we say namaste